Hi everyone, Matt here. Welcome to our next video set. In this set of videos, we are going to be looking at orthogonal drawings. So just a quick refresher on the different types of drawings we have. Uh, from our first set of videos, you'll remember that we did isometric drawings. And then we also briefly touched on oblique parallel drawings and perspective drawings. These are all examples of pictorial drawings. So what are orthogonal drawings? Orthogonal drawings are where we use several orthogonal views, so views that are at 90 degrees to each other, to represent an object. And in each view, we are looking square onto the different surfaces of this object. So orthogonal drawings are what we base our engineering drawings on. And what we, the type of drawing we're going to be looking at today is actually referred to as third angle. And this is just to do with the arrangement of our different views on the paper. Orthogonal drawings are also what Australian standard drawings are produced in. And that's why they are very important for us to learn. So to start things off, I have here a cube where we have this corner here chamfered off, giving this flat surface here. And we also have the top view of this cube, the front view, and the right view. So to start with, I'm just going to run you through how we'd actually obtain these three views. So how do we produce an orthogonal view? Orthogonal means at right angles to, so what we have to do is look at right angles to each face of our object. To do that, we can set up windows that we look through. So we set up the window and look through the window so that we are looking at the surface square on. So we then project onto the window the shape that we see. Now we don't just see this front face here, we also see this back little corner here, which ends up being projected onto that same plane, like so. So what we end up with is this square with this diagonal line cutting across, which represents this edge here. So this is an orthogonal projection of the front face of our object here. However, we need a few more projections so we can fully describe the object that we are viewing here. So if we look from this right hand face here, we can set up another window to look through and we can and we can project this view onto our window once again. And then we can take this corner here and we can project that along onto this view here like so where this edge here is this diagonal line here. Now we then cut along this line here and open up our view like so. So that is how we represent two views which are at 90 degrees to each other. So in the case of this object, we need one final view to have it fully represented. And that view is going to be the top view. So we can set up another window here. And then just like we have done for all the other faces, we can just project that this top face and this part here up onto the top window. So we end up with this, where this diagonal line is this edge here. And this point here, this corner, is this corner down here at the bottom of our object. Now, before, when we opened up this window here, it was very simple because we only had one line to fold along. In this case, we have two lines. So we open it up like we might a box and cut along a certain edge. So we have two options. So we can cut here or we can cut along this edge here, which is actually where we're going to cut it now. So that means we end up with the following representation of our cube or object. So from these three projections, hopefully you can see we have described all the details of our object. And from these three projections, we could hopefully make or produce 
a full 3D representation of the object. So we'll now look at briefly the layout of our different views. So here we have our three views from the previous slides. Now we can open up our drawing further to look at the other faces like so, where this view here would be the left hand side, this would be the bottom, and this would be the rear of our object. So according to the rules of orthogonal projections, we should produce all these different views. However, as you can see, these three views don't really give us much extra detail. So in engineering drawings and by the Australian standards, if a view is not given, we can assume that it is just plain. Where we cut or unfold our views from is not critical. However, we must note that they remain in the correct projected position in relation to each other. So this top view here could actually be moved over to this spot here. So rotated 90 degrees, but as you can see, none of the dimensions have changed. We've kept the same width, same height, and this line here would measure as the same length. Or we could rotate it again, and we could have it in this position here. However, people who have been producing or reading these drawings for a considerable amount of time for this view here, which we refer to as the plan view. And you need to make sure that not only you can read the drawing, but also someone else can read the drawing. So by using the plan view, it can be a lot simpler for someone else to come along and read your drawing. In the next video, we will look at a few techniques that are used in developing some more complex objects.